It's two minutes to two. So, I, first of all, I have to start with an apology. It is absolutely appalling that I invited anyone indoors today. Uh, it's such a gorgeous day, and I know you'd rather be in your gardens, although we do need rain. Uh, and it's uh, unusual that we would be having a town hall meeting on uh, midday. But I thought I'd start by explaining why the timing has shifted. First of all, just to get a sense, because I'm already explaining why things are different this time around, if I could just get a sense that for some of you, this is, if for anyone here who, for whom this is your first time coming to one of my town halls, oh, that's great. Re okay, that's quite a few people. That, and, and can you hear me all right in the back? They're very bad? Can you hear all right? Not quite so well. Okay, well, we, we don't have a microphone, so I will project. And if you're having trouble hearing me, Give me a sign of some kind. Yeah. Or you can move closer. <laughs> That's another thing. But I will project all the way to the very back. What we the town hall meetings, just for those of you who put your hands up, this is your first time. Uh, these meetings are nonpartisan. I try as hard as I can to keep them nonpartisan. In other words, they're not Green Party meetings at all. I'm your member of Parliament. And as I understand the job of a member of Parliament, it's to represent my constituents. The only job description for a member of parliament found in any Canadian law is found in our Constitution. And all it says in the Constitution is members of parliament represent constituencies. And because political parties aren't mentioned in our Constitution at all, because we actually don't need them, that's why the, the, the job of a member of parliament, I believe, should be to represent constituents and work for them, not to push for your political party and not take, now I happen to be leader of my party, but none of the other MPs elected with the Green Party will ever have to take instructions from me because we believe the boss of an MP is always the constituents. So then when I got, a, during the election campaign four years ago, um, believing that this was the job, I did promise people in all my meetings that to make sure that I was touching base with the people for whom I work, I would hold town hall meetings. I didn't know then on what frequency I would do it or, well, it worked out really well. I've lost track of how many I've had now. I think something like 80. But we have had every fall between Labor Day and mid-September when Parliament resumes. And we've reported in the fall of what happened in the spring session of Parliament, January to June. And in January, we've reported on what happened in the fall session, mid-September to, to Christmas, roughly. 